In a recent development, Meta has achieved a breakthrough by introducing what it calls voice box. The code that underlies Meta's groundbreaking new AI large language model, Llama 2, is being made available without charge at a time when other top AI companies like Google and OpenAI are jealously defending their trade secrets. That implies that other businesses can now create their own unique chatbots using Meta Llama 2 platform, with some technologies compared to ChatGP2 in terms of features. Should it be made public so that more individuals can contribute to the development of this transformative technology? What are the possible risks that may arise due to such a decision? Let's see. Llama 2 might threaten ChatGPT's hegemony, which sets records as one of the fastest growing apps ever. But more crucially, the fact that it is open source gives the essential ethical discussion about who should be in charge of AI and whether it can be made safe with additional urgency. Mark Zuckerberg announced that collaboration between his company Meta and Microsoft on the launching of Llama 2 by sharing an Instagram photo of the two of them grinning. In addition, Zuckerberg argued that it is better for the most effective AI models to be open source, which entails making the technology source code broadly used. In a second Facebook post, Zuckerberg stated that open source drives innovation because it enables many more developers to build with new technology. Because more individuals can examine open source software to finally address any problems, it also increases safety and security. Many AI researchers, developers and academics applaud the decision and claim that it will allow the unparalleled success to construct new tools or analyze systems that would otherwise be prohibitively expensive to implement. Modern big language models like the ones that drive ChatGPT can be expensive to develop and maintain. I'm just bracing myself for what kind of progress can happen, stated Nazin Rajani research lead at open source AI platform Hugging Face, which worked with Meta on the release. When Llama 2 initially launched, Rajani evaluated its features in a post on Twitter and told Vox, we'll be able to uncover more secret ingredients for what it actually takes to build a model like GPT-4. Open sourcing AI, however, has significant hazards. Because of the severe risks associated with these technologies, some of the biggest participants in the industry, including Google and OpenAI, which is supported by Microsoft, have been restricting the amount of their AI systems that are accessible to the general public. Some computer experts are growing more concerned about improbable end-of-the-world scenarios in which an AI may outsmart people and cause harm by dispersing a biological super weapon or wrecking other devastation in ways we can't fully imagine. Iluar Sutskiva, the co-founder of OpenAI, told The Verge in February that his company had been flat out wrong when it disclosed more information about its models in the past. He argued that if AI was to someday surpass human intelligence or what some refer to as AGI or artificial general intelligence, it would be foolish to divulge that information to the general public. It just does not make sense to open source if you think, as we do, that AI, AGI, will one day be incredibly insanely powerful. At the time, Sitskiva declared, it's a poor idea. Even while we may be a long way from AIs that can really kill people, we have already witnessed AI technologies from the open source community being used improperly. For instance, shortly after Meta released its initial Llama model in February for purely research purposes, it was discovered on the open forum online message board 4chan and used to build chatbots that spew hate speech like racist insults and, in some cases, violent scenes. Ahmed Al Dal, Vice President of Generative AI at Meta, responded in an email to Vox, We take these concerns seriously and have put a number of things in place to support a reasonable approach to building with Llama 2. These precautions include red teaming on pressure testing the model before it is released by feeding it prompts that are anticipated to produce a risky output, such as those involving criminal activity and xenophobic content. Al Dal stated, Additionally, Meta improved its model to counteract this behavior and released new rules that forbade specific unlawful and destructive applications. After its debut, Meta says it will continue to improve its model safety. We believe that openly released and improved technology ultimately promotes more transparent discussions, increased threat responsiveness, and increased iteration in the development of more responsible AI tools and technologies, Al Dahl stated. For instance, several experts note that the issue of false information existed long before the present iteration of AI. They contend that the manner in which that false information is disseminated now is more important. According to Arvind Narayan, a professor of computer science at Princeton, the bottleneck for bad actors isn't generating misinformation, it's distributing it and persuading people. Additionally, he said AI, whether open source or not, hasn't made those steps any easier. Companies developing AI models can impose some limitations on how their programs can be used in an effort to try and stop the spread of false information. For instance, Meta has certain rules prohibiting users from using Llama 2 to advocate violence or harassment but it will probably be difficult to police such regulations. It's important to remember that Llama 2 is likewise not entirely open. Researchers claim it's essential for measuring bias in AI systems, 
but Meta withheld the training data used to teach the most recent model, which is a critical part of any AI system. Finally, only a small number of other corporate behemoths like Google are exempt from Meta's requirement that businesses with over 700 million monthly users obtain authorization before using the program. Nevertheless, Llama 2 is the most open source AI project from a significant tech business that we have seen recently, which raises the issue of how other businesses will react. Flow matching surpasses diffusion models and delivers exceptional performance in comparison to other state-of-the-art models like Val-E or English text-to-speech type. Voicebox outperforms in terms of word other rates and 20 times faster. Its advanced algorithms and efficient processing make it a powerful tool for generating high-quality speech with incredible speed and accuracy. Compared to models like Yours TTS, Voicebox excels in cross-lingual style transfer. As previously mentioned, it significantly reduces word error rates and improves audio similarity, enabling seamless transition and communication across different languages. One of the key innovations is that it can learn from a wide variety of voice data without precise tagging, which makes it more versatile and flexible than prior models. Despite the intriguing prospects, it's crucial to to talk about the technology's possible hazards and ethical issues. As a result of worries about deepfake technology and the potential abuse of AI-generated speech, Meta has decided not to make Voicebox available to the general public just yet. This choice demonstrates the organization's dedication to ethical AI development and their intention to strike a balance between the potential advantages of the technology and the requirement for responsible use and responsibility. Voice banks generated speech and human speech can be distinguished using classifiers that Meta has created. One of the most important components of responsible AI development is its dedication to upholding accountability and transparency. It assists in ensuring that technology may be utilised morally and sensibly, while also providing protection from possible abuse. However, Meta is not only holding back the technology, they are also making contributions to the larger community of AI researchers. Voicebox research articles and audio samples are shared on Meta, advancing knowledge and research in the area. This not only encourages the development of AI technology, but also the sensibility and moral use of it. Academics, government researchers and others were given access to the first version of Llama in February by Meta. The business also made Llama available for download to academics after it had been trained on a sizable volume of digital text. This procedure is known by the scientific term, releasing the weights. It was a noteworthy decision since processing all of that digital data required significant financial and computing resources. Anyone can create a chatbot using the weights far more quickly and affordably than the start. After sharing its artificial intelligence, AI technology, with a select group of academics in February, which many in the IT sector feared set a hazardous precedence, one of the researchers accidentally released the technology onto the internet. The president of global public policy at Meta, Nick Clegg, opened in a recent opinion piece for the official Financial Times that it was not sustainable to keep foundational technology in the hands of just a few large corporations and that historically, open source software developers had also been strategically favoured. I'm excited to see what you all create, according to Mr Zuckerberg's post. Artificial intelligence head, Lee Khan of Meta said, We have a choice between deciding that it is too dangerous a technology to remain open and putting it under lock and key and in the hands of a small number of companies that will control it. Or, on the other hand, platforms that use open source and solicit contributions from around the world. When it comes to AI, the difficult question is, when do we decide it is too powerful to be unchecked? Tell us in the comment section below. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe and turn on the notification to get the latest videos. See you soon.